I guess if you ever wanted to look like the Northern Lights, there's a new die out for you. Posty and Parcel Pete are back once again, wrapping their usual presents. Simply playing the game will earn you wrapping paper to unlock festive rewards, including the new Aurora die. You'll also get a present each day by simply chatting to the hosts. Keep in mind this is probably the last game update of the year. However, there are a couple of festive things that will roll out before the next game update at the beginning of next year, including a new Treasure Hunter promotion, Santa's Grotto, coming out December 23rd and lasting till January 4th. Here you'll find all manner of Christmas cosmetics, including a tradable new rare green Santa outfit to match with last year's green Santa hats. Keep in mind, while pictured together in this image, the Santa hat is not part of the grotto this year. You can also collect three Christmas jumpers designed after Guthics, Penguins, and Chinchampas. Do note that you'll receive extra wrapping paper from presents from the sledge every key you use, so make sure you visit Santa's Grotto this Christmas. Following that, we have Frank's Free Chest. This is a small members-only event that will kick off next year, January 4th, before the full and first official update on January 9th. This is a piratey version of Frank, set up in Port Sarum, in which you will earn pirate keys by logging in each day, and another for every hour of play, with a minimum of 12 each week. These keys can unlock the chest near Frank, and earn various loot like Uncharted Island maps, including the red one, 100 mil GP, Dragon Tools, and and more. I'll remind you guys more about this update as it gets closer to the dates, but again, this will come out January 4th. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet, and you'd like to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Finally, with all that out of the way, let's now look at the patch notes and see what's been added with today's update, so let's go ahead and check it out. Starting off, the login screen music has been updated to A Song of Hope. To fit within the free-to-play skill cap, and to make it more accessible in general, the requirement for dive, escape, and surge has been lowered from 30 agility to 5. You must now complete succession quest to use dive in any circumstances. Completing the succession music finale, including replay, now applies the dungeoneering strange power animation to the player with a forced camera angle. The Demon Hind enemies in the Mage Arena Combat Challenge of the Succession Quest now have significantly more life points. Revolution now supports untargeted agility abilities, so Escape and Surge can once again be put on a Revolution Bar, if that's just how you roll. Added blocking to a segment of a fence surrounding the KVD enclosure near the Wilderness Lava Maze. Smithing Argon-like armor during the Succession Quest now gives token smithing XP. Only the anvil near the mage arena can be used to smith Argon Light equipment. The escape ability no longer hidden in the range ability book when the magic spellbook is filtered. Removed additional bodies from dead cultists in the Sentistan prison scene of succession. Corrected the progress boost message in Yak Track, the Winter Trials, to now state the correct tier at which it was unlocked. Added bounds checking to the quest list to prevent an issue where its contents were squished by an invalid sortie. Fixed an issue which caused the festive aura XP cap message to be displayed after every login. Fixed the washed out appearance of some outfits while in Prifdinis. And finally there was a hot fix which lowered the uptime of the feeling pumped modifier in Shatter Worlds. This is a temporary change that was made due to the increased excessive XP rates players have been receiving in conjunction with the recent changes to special attacks. This change is considered temporary whilst the team is investigating more in-depth resolutions to the XP issues. That is it for your patch notes. Links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below. Head on over there, check them out if you wish to do so. And if you haven't been paying attention, I've put out a couple of shorts recently going over some of the reveals for the 2023 contents. So if you are interested in the sneak peek of what's to come early next year, do check out those shorts on my channel. Love to see you there. And with that video, I'm out. Aloha.